Hello, this is Mrs. Fitch, your math teacher at Clio High School. I just wanted to go through and show you guys where you can find information pertaining to your um, class online. So I have created a website. It is bit.ly backslash Fitch Math. And at that website, it pretty much shows everything that you guys need for your individual classes. So let's go ahead and go there. So when it comes up, we have a home tab, resource tab, SAT, prep, and a prep and about me. So on the home page, it'll list um, the three classes that I teach this semester. I have the Algebra 2 class, the Trade Pre-Calc class, and Essentials of Algebra 2 fourth hour using that Alex program. Um, so they the classes are pretty much set up the same regardless of if you, whichever class you're in, the format is exactly the same. So I'm just going to say for right now that I am in an Algebra 2 class. So I'm going to click on Algebra 2 and it's going to take us to our weekly lesson. Um, this is important to check every day regardless if you are an online learner or an in-person learner. There are things on here that regardless of which mode of education you guys are getting right now, you're going to need to um, submit things. This is where you have to submit your daily attendance and submit your assignments regardless of mode of instruction. So let's just say that today is September 8th, Tuesday. It is. It's the first day of school. The first thing on the very top of this is this daily attendance. Daily attendance, regardless if you are in person or online, you have to submit your attendance to be considered present. So there's this little blue um, link that says submit here. You're going to click onto that and it's going to take you to a Google form. On the Google form, you just need to make sure that you're signed into your school email address and then you'll be able to open all of these. So your last name, uh, okay. your first name, um, click on what hour you're in. So I'm going to say that I am in fourth hour Algebra 2. Mode of instruction, um, I'm going to say that I'm an online remote learner. Um, these are all required. What was today's learning target? Um, today we are learning how to navigate class website, right? Just a nice little sentence on what it was that we were learning today. And how did you feel about today's lesson? You can go through and read these, but ultimately one, you have no idea what to do. Um, you've watched videos or you were in class and you still have no clue on how to even start doing a problem. And number five would be all the way up to where psh, you got this, you could teach the class. So I'm gonna say that I'm a four and I'm going to submit. Okay. So now your daily attendance is done for the day. So going back, um, the Zoom meeting. On the Zoom meeting, I have the Clio uh, bell schedule for all of the classes. If you want to attend a Zoom meeting, and it is not mandatory that you attend the Zoom meeting, other than when we are taking quizzes and tests, but uh, you do not have to any other time. But I said that I was in fourth hour, if you remember on my attendance, so the only time I can come into a Zoom meeting is during my fourth hour, which is from 11.22. Actually, I have a launch, so that wouldn't be true, but, oh yes, it would be, sorry. So yes, from 11.22 to 12.22. So just make sure that when you're joining the Zooms that you are in the proper hour that you are supposed to be, that your schedule states that you are in, right? Um, next, you'll see the learning target. So ultimately, what are we learning? So how do I navigate math class? Success criteria, um, we need to know how to access the textbook and the classroom website. We need to know how to submit attendance and we need to know how to submit assignments. Then on the agenda, we're gonna go over the class website. We're gonna talk about the weekly plan. Um, we're gonna go over the syllabus. We're gonna talk about assignments and cleanup at the end of every hour, right? So we're gonna kind of take these a little bit out. I'll go back to the syllabus here shortly, but on assignments, um, below the agenda, agenda, it'll list your assignment. So today it's what do you remember? And that if you click on that, it'll take you to the PDF of the assignment. It could be a book page. It could be problems out of the book. Just for this first day, we're gonna do this worksheet. So you have two choices as a learner. You can print this off at home and you can do all of your work right here on the worksheet. Um, 
take a picture of it and submit it through Google Form, <clears throat> or you can simply just grab a sheet of paper, write number one, write through all of the steps, show out your show your work, and then submit your take a picture and submit your answers that way. Under there, under the assignment itself, like if you look over here, <laughs> it actually gives page problems. Um, submit here. Um, all of your work is going to get submitted through a Google uh, or Google form. I apologize. So here was for Algebra 2, our assignments for this week. You're going to put in your last name. You're going to put in your first name. You're going to pick the hour. I'm going to say that I'm in fifth hour. And then what um, assignment are you submitting? So you will be in one week ish you'll be submitting five assignments granted this week it would only be four because we had no school on Monday so I just did what do you remember worksheet so I'm gonna click on that one you need to upload a clear picture of your assignment and you're gonna take a picture of each page separately so when I did the worksheet if I did it on a scrap sheet of paper and I ended up in it my work was completed on two sheets this first page is always going to be required, right? So you're going to add that file, and then if you need a second sheet, you're going to add it there. I have on here room for four pages. That should be enough. If it's not, we'll figure it out as we go along, right? We're all learning this together. Um, below that, depending on what class you're in, um, this was for Algebra 2. In Algebra 2, we use a CPM book, so there's your online textbook. For uh, pre-calc and trig, there's a link there to get you to your textbook as well. And then underneath will be a video. So for our at-home learners, our online learners, um, the lesson will be posted on there. And like today, we have a video about how to upload and submit those um, video or those photos so this shows you how to use your phone to be able to upload those photos into Google Forms and you can either be an Android for excuse me an Android user or an iPhone user and they're both in the video and then of course we have our little standards on there for uh, our state standards if we switch back to the home page we have resources. If you click on the resource, here's our syllabus for each one of the hours. If you are in Algebra 2 class 5th and 6th hour using CPM, there's a parent support. Um, and then here's two links to calculators, either the Desmos graphing calculator or the Desmos um, scientific calculator. School links, parent view, student view, the CLIO website, and the online expectations that the high school has put up. And that video that was into our lesson, just because you may need it other than on the first day of school, Mrs. Traver was very, did a very informative video on it, so that's also there. Now if we go back to the syllabus for the class. If I click on so you can go through and you can read through the syllabus. Um, I feel that as a teacher, that nurturing environment for all students to feel accomplished and confident. Um, some of our class expectations using the pride matrix, be positive, be respectful, be independent, um, dependable and engaged. Um, your expectations, student expectations, regardless if you are a face-to-face -face or a virtual learner, um, the pace is going to be exactly the same, the content is going to be exactly the same as are the assessments. Um, necessary material, you need to make sure that every day that you are bringing your Chromebook, um, your calculator, or we can use the online calculator, something to write with, a notebook, or some kind of organization so that way um, you can keep your class in order. Again, the book is online. If you want um, an actual hard copy of your textbook, you by all means um, can check one out through the Media Center. Uh, school policy, um, the whole cell phone policy is still in effect other than when it comes like the last five minutes of class when we are taking pictures of our work and submitting it through Google Forms just to keep the limit on papers going back and forth between people and trying to keep that distance. 
Um, any other time the phone is not allowed in class, and of course that same policy applies as what it was last year. First offense, the phone gets confiscated and goes to the office. The second offense, there's the detention and your phone goes to the office. The third offense, it turns into an actual written referral. They're going to give you a detention, and of course the phone goes down to the office. Um, tardiness, after the fourth tardy, you will be issued a detention and one for every tardy afterwards. Um, passes, I know that this is kind of, we're in different kind of territory when it comes to um, bathroom breaks and everything else, but we are gonna try and limit our passes to where when I'm actually teaching to not be giving out those passes and uh, that first and last 10 minutes of class. We'll see how this all works, right? Um, grading policy, standard grading um, scale, and in math class, your grade is accumulative, which means it's going to start today and it's going to build until the end of the semester. Um, our assignments that we do daily are 10% of your grade. Quizzes, which are going to be weekly, um, I believe we're going to do them on Mondays. Um, they will be 25% of your grade. Uh, on that day, on those Mondays, we're going to keep it every Monday to try and keep some consistency going on. So as an online learner, you know that you have to be in a Zoom meeting for your class during that quiz time. And the same for your test, your chapter test, which is 50% of your grade. You do have to be in that Zoom meeting the day of the test for your class in order to take that assessment. And then your final exam per Clio High School is 15% for all of your classes. Your assignments are going to be graded on completeness. Um, quizzes, those weekly quizzes that we have, your lowest two quizzes will be dropped when it comes to figuring out your final grade. Um, ultimately, you'll always have like two quizzes in there. So once you take your third quiz, your lowest one will be dropped. After you take your fourth quiz, then your next one would be dropped. And on your tests, um, if your final exam grade is higher than your lowest chapter test grade, it will replace that if it's beneficial for you. Quizzes and test makeup, if you're absent, um, just get a hold of me. We'll find out a time before or after school for you to make that up. But that does need to be made up within one week so that way those grades and um, we can talk about it with the entire class so that way not too much time lapses before we can actually go over it. Late work, you can submit late work up until the day that the class takes their chapter test, but you will receive only half credit for that. Um, our focus, you guys can go through and read all of these if you choose to. Um, it just kind of goes through all of the different chapters that we will be going through for Algebra 2. Um, between those, yes. Yep. So, I hope this all makes sense to you. If you have any questions, jump onto that Zoom meeting or get a hold of me, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.